You know what, y'all? Sometimes we just need to give an anger praise. You're like, what are you talking about? The Bible says you shouldn't be angry. Well, if you read all the Bible, it also says that you can anger and sin not. See, God knows that we're human, and he knows sometimes there's going to be things in our life that's going to make us angry. But there's healthy anger. That's the anger that's okay to have. And that is when someone is abusing you, mistreating you, taking advantage of you, you know, and, and, and you're trying to keep sweet. You're trying to, you know, still kill them with kindness and do everything that God's Word says. But, you know, and, and, but you're suppressing your anger, and that's not good. You're thinking, well, I can't, you know, cuss them out. And you're thinking, well, I don't even have cussing in my vocabulary anyway, but, you know, because I'm a Christian, I did away with that a long time ago, but I still have these anger, you know, problems sometimes when someone's abusing me, mistreating me, and that's normal. There's nothing abnormal about that, even as a Christian. But because God's word does say you can anger and sin not. But how do you handle this? Well, the best way to handle it, it ain't to call up the person and give them peace of your mind. Or just, you know, argue with them because that ain't going to do any good. The best thing to do is get along with God and pray to him. And, you know, he knows what's going on, but he still wants you to go to him. Tell him how you feel and tell him that, that you know he's going to take care of the situation. But, you know, and, and just start quoting those scriptures out. You know, if you don't know any, look them up. You know, how God fights for you. And also, another good way is to start, listen, start listening to some gospel music. Some encouraging gospel music. And I don't mean just any kind. I'm talking about the kind when you're angry. And, and you need the Lord to come on in and help you. And one of them um, I really like, there's plenty of them out there, but there's one I really like. It's called um, This Means War. And it's by Charles Jenkins. And if you've never heard of them, look them up. And you will love that song. And just start praising the Lord while you listen to this song. I promise you, you will feel much better. The anger will cease. And, you know, it'll be so encouraging. You start feeling God's presence. And, you know, that, that's just the best thing to do. You know, sometimes you just have to, if you got a tough stain, you have to shout it out. And I don't mean shout it out to God. I don't mean to um, shout out people. I mean shout like praising the Lord shout. You know, have a healthy, happy praise. You know, that you know that God's going to take care of it. So I hope I said something to encourage you all. And just keep praising the Lord. And, and when you start praising the Lord, that's when God steps in. Now, he ain't going to step in as long as you're going to argue with his people and try to set them straight. Because as you can tell, it don't, it don't work and it just makes it worse. And I'm talking about as a Christian trying to do it in a calm, sweet way. It still don't work with these people. So the best thing to do is just go to God, pray to him, start listening to praise music. And start praising God. So when you start praising God, that's when you'll get your strength, your power, and your peace. Because you know God's got it. And you know God's going to take care of it. And He's going to take care of those ones that are coming against you. And that's mistreating you. That's using you. That's neglecting you. Whatever it is. Whatever the situation is. Just know, all you got to do is put your praise on. And watch God fight for you. God bless.